Take a turn to some more reporting at 6 o'clock. She was a toast of Michiana one week and then fired the next. The story of the $10,000 tip at a Benton Harbor restaurant went south in a hurry when server Lindsay Boyd was let go after sharing her windfall with her co-workers. George Mallet spoke to Lindsay Boyd on camera today for the very first time on the record as well today and joins us now with the latest. Explain what happened here. Well, when our Erica Jimenez shared her report on the $10,000 tip, it had all the elements of a feel-good story. A single mom waiting tables gets that big fat tip. At the request of the patron, she divides it evenly with everybody working that day. A week later, though, the wheels came off. I was made the epicenter of this entire thing, whether I wanted to be or not. We all went to the Mason Jar Cafe in Benton Harbor to tell the story of the $10,000 tip. Despite these pictures of a bustling restaurant filled with cheerful servers, all may not have been hunky-dory. Lindsay Boyd says the place became toxic, with co-workers unhappy with the distribution of her big tip. Lindsay went to management. I at least made them aware of things that were being said. Lindsay says they dealt with the animosity by firing her the following week. She'll never forget what her boss said to her. It was still getting a lot of publicity and attention and the best way to calm the situation and move forward was for me to not come back. So Lindsay did what so many of us do. She posted her firing and the story behind it on social media. Then she said her former employer began to threaten her. I was told legal action is being taken against me um, and that if I wanted lawyers to be after me for the foresee foreseeable future, um, I needed to take my post down. For her part, Lindsay recorded those allegedly threatening phone calls and she allowed me to hear them. And it's understandable now why Lindsay has hired a lawyer. You know, I was praised so much on TV for, I mean, being willing to share this, which is what the man asked. That's all I did. But it hurt, you know, saying that I'm such a wonderful employee. And then the next week. Yeah, and then the next week canned. Lindsay's lawyer, Jennifer McManus of Fagan Law, tells me her client isn't planning legal action against the Mason Jar Cafe. She's just responding to those alleged threats and wants to be left alone. I called the Mason Jar Cafe today and asked if someone there could go on camera with me. The manager I spoke with said he would follow up with me, and maybe he will. That was shortly before 11 this morning. I haven't heard back from anyone tonight. Stay on it. George Mallet wow. in studio with that story. It's a shocker. Really? It's really, really. popular uh, story for sure. Thank you, George, for that.